So this evening, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to change out the hard drive in your uh, Ubiquiti Unify Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. Uh, the reason why you might want to do this is either a larger capacity, so a little bit larger uh, timeline that you're recording on uh, from all of your cameras, uh, 4K, um, and then also if you want a little bit quicker response when you're scrubbing, saving out files. Uh, the performance is actually shockingly good um, out of this with the bundled hard drive, which I'll be showing you in just a second here. Uh, I just pulled this out of service. <laughs> it's been up for quite a while. And as you can see, it's using its built-in battery to safely shut down the Cloud Key Gen 2 Plus. Uh, and the process of doing this is just uh, writing leadouts on all of the video files, shutting down the services, things like that. Um, there's maybe a better way to do it, but it's designed to handle that. So there she goes. Uh, step one to doing this, releasing the hard drive. Here we see the, well, it's one terabyte. I'm trying to figure out if it's a 5400 or if it's a 7200 RPM drive. I don't actually know, but it was made a long time ago. Holy cow. I bought this uh, at the, in 2019, so very, very beginning 2019 when it launched. So that was already a two and a half or three year old hard drive at that point. They are definitely getting these cheaply, which is just fine. Um, so yeah, the first step is going to be removing the hard drive from the caddy. And it looks like this is a tool list design. So I can't do it one handed, but we're going to just splay the plastic a little bit. We're going to lift it out and uh, then we'll be installing our SSD. So it is indeed toolless. You just splay the plastic away and the hard drive pops right out. And then to install the SSD, just make sure you have the serial ATA interface pointing in the correct direction. And voila. Ubiquity has made this extremely easy. And all you have to do is power it back on. It will automatically format the drive. And away we go. So here we see the cloud key booting back up. And less than a minute later, we are back and live with a formatted drive, and we can hop right in. And of course, we can't see what happened back there, because it doesn't have any data. But uh, it is now recording on all cameras on the SSD. I'll check back uh, a bit later, and then uh, I'll show you how much faster it is to scrub. If I remember, if not, whatever. <laughs> But the SSD is a great upgrade. I would highly recommend it if you run multiple cameras or it's just something where you're uh, constantly reviewing footage. It'll save you a lot of time and hassle.